only in Texas. I went to one of my favorite shopping malls today, the Wrecking Yard, and they just got in this 1957 Chevy Bel Air four-door hardtop. It came in from a police auction, and the paperwork on it is for dismantle only, so it has to be parted out. It's a fairly solid car. It's a very solid car. It was radically customized back in the 70s, probably. Side pipes and all. It's got a little bit of rust in that trunk. That's typical on these things. It's all complete. It even has a nice interior to boot. The Bel Air dash is all there in real nice shape. It's got a three-speed standard shift. It's a darn shame to see them wind up like this. Somebody's already bought the grill bar out of it. It's all complete under the hood. Motor's all there, covered in cobwebs, if you can see them, spider webs. Can you imagine a complete 1957 Chevy Bel Air coming into a wrecking yard in October of 2009? It's crazy. But I've seen this stuff before. I used to get holes every now and then when I ran the dinosaur around town and bought junk cars. But never anything like this. This one's here thanks to a police auction. This is the people, this is the wrecking yard I'm at. I don't know if that will show up. But that is their phone number. It's A and B's Auto Parts here in Kennedale, Texas. <laughs> if you see anything on it that you want, give them a call. We've got a lot of neat stuff in here. I'll, they're about to close up, so I'll quickly make a film of some of this stuff. They recently sold this frame out of a 64 Chevrolet Impala. This is the one that I got my front brake parts off of. They got a few more of them out here. They get quite a lot of neat stuff in this wrecking yard. The buyer has an eye for desirable cars, classic cars. When's the last time you walked through a wrecking yard and saw a 64 Impala front clip just sitting there? They probably bent it up, taking it off. Just an old car. There's a 1980 Camaro T-top car, factory T-tops, rust-free. Most of this Texas stuff is rust-free. Let's see. There's a 63 Impala in here I'm trying to get to. I keep forgetting where it's at. Oh, there's a 1970 Chevrolet Impala. Must have recently came in. I have a friend building one of those looking for parts. Oh, Chevy 2 Nova. Four door basically rush free. Here's a 63 Impala that came in not too long ago. Came in with a lot of the parts. But it was a complete car. About four months ago. Has the AC compressor still on it. Alternator bracket still on it. I just bought the uh, speedometer cluster out of it today. That's what brought me to the wrecking yard. 
even has a red interior like mine. I got those eyebrows off of the uh, from around the tail lights. They write no parts on a lot of these cars. That's just because they want you to go up and ask them before you take the parts off. Then every now and then you'll find a car they absolutely do not want to sell parts off of. Chevy truck that came in here complete Monte Carlo SS oh. several more old Chevy trucks another Nova another Monte Carlo SS the 68 Chevrolet This is the 64 Chevrolet that lost its frame. It is solid as a rock. The floors are just as solid as they can be. 66 Chevy Caprice. Or not a Caprice, it's just an Impala. Here's another Monte Carlo SS all chopped up. a 66 Chevelle two-door hard top the remains of that some pretty neat stuff in here it's a good yard <laughs> 